Welcome back then, and what we're going to be looking at today is how we can auto number this column A here as we're working down. So as we enter information, say first name, last name within your table, if you wanted to put a number down the side, so say we want two, three, four, and kind of working that down, then this cell can do this automatically, making it nice and easy so that as you work and you don't have to borrow putting the serial number down on the side. So starting out then, what we're going to do is we're going to select a cell within this. So we can see that we've added this column already here saying serial number and we kind of just left that blank for now. And what we can do at this point is we can either click up here into the ribbon, clicking insert, and then we can click table. Or you have the option of pressing control and T. And once it's done this, you should see that you get this little pop up here saying that create the table and it's selected the data that we have there. And we're going to leave this selected saying that we have a table uh, so the, the table has headers because the table does have headers and we're going to click OK. If you want to format your data and change it in terms of colors and stuff like that, then we can click that over here and you can make that look different as it works its way down. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this. And we're going to click into that first box there and within it, we're going to enter a formula. So as we do with all formulas, then it's going to start out with an equal sign. So we're going to put the equals and we're going to use the rows function and we can see just by typing in rows in lowercase we get a couple of options here. If we press the tab button and it'll bring it up for us making it a bit kind of bigger and what we're going to do is we're going to insert this cell here. So we're going to say is equal or the first argument the array is A2 and from here now we can press A4 because we want to lock that in. And you can see at this point, then it's added in the dollar signs here. So we have a dollar to lock in the A column and we have a dollar sign to lock in the A2. And then we're going to press the colon. So once we've pressed the colon, then we can then press across here. And we can see that it's now selected within the table, the first name column. Okay, we're going to close the brackets and we can press enter. And we can see that that's given us a one there. So what we're going to do is we can just select our data there, just center format a little bit. And now as you're working through your data in your table, as you are inputting data, so we can just press the tab button and say we've just entered our last name now. And when we press the tab, it'll bring it up a new row and it automatically gives us a two. So then we can say, say, say Joe Andrews and the next person we can tab again. And then it's going to add on a three and so on and so on. And the more we add, I say it will automatically add a kind of row for you and it will give you that serial number at the side there that you're needing so hopefully that works for you solves the question for you and any questions don't forget to ask them in the comments below